Would you believe that one of the deadliest animals in the United States is smaller than a paperclip? A question that may seem perplexing at first, yet it unveils a reality that is both fascinating and alarming. Life has always been a survival game, and nature has equipped every creature with the tools they need to thrive. For some, their survival mechanisms are more lethal than others, making them silent killers among us. In the coming moments, we will be venturing into the realm of the deadliest creatures that share our home, the United States. This journey will lead us through a countdown of the top 20 deadliest animals, each holding a unique place in the intricate web of life. But what makes these animals so deadly? Is it their size, their strength, or perhaps their venom? The answer lies in a combination of these factors and more. For some, their lethal nature is derived from their potent venom, a cocktail of toxins that can incapacitate or even kill. For others, it's their sheer strength and size that pose a threat capable of overpowering even the strongest of humans. Yet for a select few, it's not their venom or strength that makes them deadly, but rather the frequency of human encounters. These creatures have adapted to live in close proximity to humans, leading to an increased number of encounters and subsequently, a higher risk of fatal incidents. This countdown will not only highlight the danger these animals pose, but also shed light on the complexity and diversity of life that we share our world with. Each creature, in its own right, plays a crucial role in maintaining the delicate balance of our ecosystems. So, buckle up for a journey that will take you through the untamed wilderness, the vast plains, the dense forests, and even your own backyard. A journey that will make you question what you thought you knew about the world around you. Let's embark on this journey to unmask the deadliest animals in the United States. At number 20, we have the Arizona Bark Scorpion, the most venomous scorpion in North America. This critter makes its home in the southwestern United States, primarily in Arizona. It's a nocturnal creature, hiding during the day under rocks, tree barks, or in the crevices of your home emerging at night to hunt. The venom of the Arizona bark scorpion is a potent cocktail of neurotoxins that can cause severe pain, numbness, and sometimes temporary immobility in the victim. But don't let the fear paralyze you. Deaths are extremely rare thanks to effective anti-venom treatments. In fact, there have been no recorded fatalities from a bark scorpion sting in over two decades. This scorpion's bark, or rather sting, is much worse than its bite. While it's not exactly a cuddly creature, it's more of a nuisance than a genuine threat, unless you're allergic to its venom. Next time you're in Arizona, better watch where you step. Moving on to number 19, we encounter the brown recluse spider, a tiny terror. This little arachnid, no bigger than a quarter, is known to dwell in the southern and central regions of the United States. It's a homebody, preferring dark and secluded spaces like attics, garages, and closets. The brown recluse spider's venom is a potent cocktail. It's a necrotic type of venom, which means it can cause the tissue around the bite to die. Initially, you might feel a little sting, similar to a bee sting, but over time, the venom starts to work its magic leading to severe pain, fever, chills, and in rare cases, even life-threatening complications. However, despite its fearsome reputation, the brown recluse is not an aggressive spider. It usually bites only when threatened or disturbed. So if you see one, it's best to leave it alone. Arachnophobes, beware. At number 18, we have the infamous black widow spider. This arachnid is easily recognizable with its glossy black body and the distinctive red hourglass marking on its underbelly. But don't let its small size fool you. The Black Widow is one of the most venomous spiders in North America. Its venom is a potent neurotoxin that can cause severe symptoms in humans, including pain, muscle rigidity, vomiting, and even difficulty breathing. It's said that the venom of a Black Widow is 15 times stronger than that of a rattlesnake. However, not to alarm you, but death from a Black Widow bite is extremely rare, especially with modern medical treatment readily available. Often, black widows prefer to stay hidden in dark and secluded places. So the next time you're reaching into that old shed or wood pile, be careful. You never know who might be lurking in the shadows. Remember, not all that glitters is gold. Some sparkle with deadly venom. Slithering into number 17 is the rattlesnake, a venomous viper with a deadly rattle. These serpents are no strangers to the diverse landscapes of the United States, making their homes in deserts, forests, and even your backyards. There are over 30 types of rattlesnakes, each with their unique venomous cocktail, but the eastern and western diamondbacks are the most notorious. Now, this venom is not just for show. 
It's a potent mixture of enzymes and proteins designed to immobilize and digest prey from the inside out. Gruesome, isn't it? But here's the kicker. Despite their deadly reputation, rattlesnakes cause fewer than 10 fatalities per year. That's because they're more interested in rat-sized meals than human-sized problems. So, if you hear that characteristic rattle, give the snake a wide berth. They're just trying to avoid a confrontation. In the land of the free, the sound of freedom can sometimes be a deadly rattle. At number 16, we have the American alligator, a prehistoric predator. This formidable beast makes its home in the freshwater environments of the southeastern United States. From slow-moving rivers to marshes, swamps, and lakes, it's a creature of the wetlands and a master of its domain. The American alligator can grow up to 15 feet long and weigh nearly 1,000 pounds, making it one of the largest reptiles in North America. Its sheer size is matched only by its strength, with a jaw-clamping force that can crush bones and shatter turtle shells. Despite their fearsome reputation, fatalities caused by American alligators are relatively rare. On average, they cause about one fatality per year. However, the danger they pose should not be underestimated. They are highly efficient predators that command respect and caution from those who share their habitat. In the swamps of the South, the king is not the lion, but the alligator. Pouncing into number 15 is the cougar, also known as the mountain lion. This majestic creature can be found across a vast range from the Canadian Yukon to the southern Andes of South America, making it the most widely distributed large wild terrestrial mammal in the Western Hemisphere. What makes the cougar truly formidable is its exceptional strength and hunting skills. Despite its size, lesser than that of the big cats, it boasts a muscular body and hind legs stronger than its front, enabling it to make powerful leaps and sprints when hunting. Cougars are ambush predators, preferring to use the element of surprise over a direct attack. Each year, cougar attacks on humans are rare but not unheard of, with less than 20 fatalities reported in the past century. However, when they strike, their stealth and speed make them deadly opponents. In the wild, it's not always the size that matters, but the stealth and speed. Roaring into number 14 is the grizzly bear, a giant of the wild. Known for their awe-inspiring size and strength, these beasts are a force to be reckoned with, embodying the raw power of nature itself. Found largely in North America, predominantly in Alaska and Western Canada, they are perfectly adapted to their rugged terrain. Grizzlies are monumental in size, with adult males standing up to 9 feet tall when on their hind legs and weighing in at a formidable 700 pounds. Their strength is legendary, enabling them to take down large prey with a single swipe of their mighty paws. But it's not just their physical prowess that's impressive. Each year, grizzlies are responsible for a handful of fatalities in North America. These incidents usually occur when humans unknowingly wander into their territory, a stark reminder of the respect we must afford these majestic creatures. In the wilderness, some giants are better admired from a distance. Galloping into number 13 is the moose, a gentle giant with a deadly charge. This titan of the animal kingdom makes its home in the dense forests and wetlands of North America. With a height that can reach up to 7 feet at the shoulder and a weight that can exceed 1,500 pounds, the moose is a heavyweight champion among land mammals. Despite its seemingly docile nature, don't let its size fool you. A moose can run up to 35 miles per hour and its charge can be as deadly as a bullet. With their massive antlers and incredible strength, moose are responsible for several fatalities each year, often the result of collisions with vehicles on the road or defensive attacks when they feel threatened. So remember, while their grandeur may be awe-inspiring, it's essential to give these gentle giants the respect and space they deserve. In the wild, even the gentle giants can turn deadly. Stampeding into number 12 is the bison, a symbol of the American West. Such a grand emblem of the open plains, the bison, also known as the American buffalo, occupies a variety of habitats, including river valleys, prairies, and forests. Their mighty presence is truly a sight to behold, with mature males reaching up to 2,000 pounds and standing 6 feet tall at the shoulder. Their impressive size is matched by their strength. With the ability to run at speeds up to 40 miles per hour, these beasts can easily outpace a horse. Their power, combined with their unpredictability, makes them a force to be reckoned with. While they might seem calm and placid, bison can charge without warning, causing serious injury or even death. Every year, there are reported fatalities due to bison attacks. 
mostly resulting from people getting too close to these majestic creatures. Remember, not all symbols of freedom are harmless. At number 11 we have the white-tailed deer, a surprising entry on our list. The white-tailed deer, a common sight across North America, is an animal you might not expect to find in a list of deadliest creatures. They inhabit a variety of environments from the dense forests of the East Coast to the wide open plains of the Midwest. Despite their timid demeanor and gentle appearance, they pose a significant threat to human life. The danger they present is not due to their physical prowess or venomous bite, but rather their unpredictable behavior in the vicinity of roads. Each year these graceful animals are responsible for a startling number of fatal traffic accidents. Their sudden appearance on highways and rural roads cause drivers to swerve or break abruptly, often leading to serious accidents. This seemingly benign creature, with its soft eyes and graceful movements, is a reminder that danger can come in the most unexpected forms. In the land of the brave, the innocuous can sometimes be the most deadly. And at number one, the most deadly animal in the United States is the human. A surprising twist, isn't it? But let's delve a little deeper to understand why we've earned this dubious distinction. While we've spent the last few minutes discussing the dangers of various creatures from the stealthy Arizona bark scorpion to the formidable grizzly bear, it's important to note that no other animal has been responsible for more fatalities in the United States than humans. The reasons sadly are manifold. Accidents, particularly those involving motor vehicles, claim thousands of lives each year. Our love for speed and disregard for safety measures make us a threat to our own species. But it's not just about accidents. Our actions, intentional or otherwise, have far-reaching effects that often result in fatalities. Pollution, for instance, is a silent killer, claiming more lives than we can fathom. From the air we breathe to the water we drink, our harmful actions have turned our environment into a death trap. Furthermore, we also cause harm indirectly through the destruction of natural habitats, leading to an imbalance in the ecosystem and increasing the chances of deadly encounters with wild animals. We don't just stop at harming our own kind and the environment. We extend our destructive tendencies to other species as well. Hunting, poaching, and other harmful activities have pushed many species to the brink of extinction. All these points paint a grim picture of the human species as the deadliest animal. But it's not all doom and gloom. The beauty of being human lies in our capacity for change. We have the power to change our ways, to learn from our mistakes and make amends. So. As we conclude this journey through the deadliest animals in the United States, let's remind ourselves that we have a responsibility. We hold our own fate and that of countless other species in our hands. Remember the most dangerous animal is often the one we see in the mirror every day. Let's strive to be better.